tena mtazamaji katika my story kama nilivyokuambia awali ni naye mkurugenzi wa Pevan College si mwingine ni David Kiuko akikuelezea safari ya maisha yake na kwa kuwa ni kijana mdogo akakwambia hakuona maana ya kuajiriwa ninajua kuna wengi wenu pale nchi amna ajira lakini unaweza ukajiajiri bora tu tumia kili yako vizuri karibu ukamaliza na ukapata ile profit ulianzia wapi sasa kuna pesa unajua wengine wanaweza kula Uh, nikiwa pale mm-hmm. nilipopata the 50000 mm-hmm. uzuri nikiwa pale tana nilikuwa nafanya 50 shillings mm-hmm. nilifungua account mm-hmm. na bank mm-hmm. kwa hakika ilikaa mwezi miaka mingi bila mm-hmm. kwa pesa mm-hmm. so the 50000 was the very first money money ilikia kwa account kwa your account mm-hmm. so nikaweka pale nikifikiria chini endafanya mm-hmm. Na nilipokuwa pale ndio nikawa kumbuka kuna kitu nilioandika nikiwa katika form 2 mm-hmm. biashara yenye nataka kufanya mm-hmm. ya kompyuta mm-hmm. nikatafuta kile kitabu nilichoandika nikakipata mm-hmm. na nikasema ikweli nilisema ndafanya mambo ya kompyuta mm-hmm. so ndipo pale nikafikiria nikatafuta jamaa moja alikuwa anafanya na kompyuta nikamwambia unaweza niuzia kompyuta zako mm-hmm. kompyuta moja mm-hmm. pale nikanunua kompyuta moja mm-hmm. printer moja mm-hmm. na nivu hizo mbili tu hizo mbili Uka, na ukaenda wapi sasa ulianzia kuku Nairobi ndipo nilitoka Nairobi nikaenda mm-hmm pale tala mm-hmm. nitafute nyumba mm-hmm. nikatafuta nyumba si si kupata kwanza mm-hmm. ndio nilitafuta nikaendelea kutafuta mm-hmm. katafuta rafiki wangu mmoja mm-hmm. aliyekuwa anafanya ile biashara za kompyuta nikamwambia nataka kutafuta nyumba nianze hii biashara mm-hmm. mbia tuende nikuoneshe mm-hmm. tukatafuta tukatafuta ndio tukapata kachumba kamoja mahali juu mm-hmm. uh, kwenda pale tukapata nyumba ni mingi mm-hmm. lakini wapangaji hakuna mm-hmm kuna pagaji mmoja tu oh, only one in only one in, a, in, in one floor mm-hmm. na they are almost over 10 nyumba kumi. Mm-hmm. ndio nikafikiria hapa kweli biashara itaweza mm-hmm. uh, ndipo nikasema maana niko na hii amu la kuanza biashara mm-hmm. ndaanza hapa mm-hmm. nikitafuta kwingine mm-hmm. ndio pale nikanunua vitu nikaleta nikatengeneza kanyumba kadogo mm-hmm. uh, na hapo ndio nilianza biashara yangu mm-hmm. mwezi wa tatu mm, kama mwajiri mm-hmm. kama bosi mm-hmm. pale ukiwa bado ujui ndio cleaner pale ndio kila kitu kama utapata pesa yeah. zingine ujui kama biashara itakwenda sijui kama itaenda mzuri lakini ili fair hapo ela ama kulikwenda siku ya kwanza nilikaa pale mm-hmm. siku ikaisha mm-hmm. bila kitu bila ka kitu bila ka kitu kwa huko famoa siku famoa mm-hmm. siku ya pili nikakuja nikafungua nikakaa pale mm-hmm. nikapata shilingi 85 shillings kwa siku kwa siku Mhm. Ah, nikashukuru Mungu maana jana haikuwa hivi leo kumekuwa different. Hauko wewe kitu chenye ulikuwa unaona ni kwamba siku moja itapika. Mhm. Maana nilipokuwa nasoma mm-hmm. huyo mwalimu wangu aliniambia kwanza ukianza biashara la haitakuwa vizuri mm-hmm. miezi ya kwanza mbili tatu. Mm-hmm. Itabidi bado upoteze. Mm-hmm. Na ndio nikaamini vile. So hiyo usiku nikakaa chini katika bedroom yangu ndogo pale. Mm-hmm. Nikasema kwamba the god mwenye aliniza ali, ali, alifanya, alifanya nizaliwe mm-hmm. benye nilivyo mm-hmm. ako na reason mzuri yangu ya mm-hmm. maisha ulikuwa umeokoka naam lakini si vile unajua mimi ni mkatoliki mm-hmm. na lakini ulikuwa unajua Mungu nilikuwa najua Mungu mm-hmm. lakini sikuwa nimezipa kwa Mungu vile mm-hmm. lakini hiyo usiku ndio niliamua mm-hmm. wacha nifuate nyaya za Kristo ndio kwa hakika tanishindania. Mm-hmm. Nikiwa pale nikapiga magoti chini nikaambia Mungu, ulie niita mm-hmm. na ulioweka roho ya kutoa ajiliwa katika ndani mm-hmm. yangu. Mm-hmm. Unajua njia zangu. Mm-hmm. Na katika hii biashara nimekupa wewe uweze mm-hmm. kuniendelesha. Mm-hmm. Siku ya pili kwa hakika nilianza niliona mnyonjiza mm-hmm. maana nilipata 1300. From 8 bob sasa leo baada ya kudedicate yeah. biashara yako kwa Mungu. Siku ya pili nikapata 1300. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kasema kweli hapa kuna mambo. Ulikuwa bado umeweka biashara? Alikuwa anafanya photocopy peke yake. Hakuna mm-hmm. kitu kingine alikuwa. Hakuwa hata na printing. Uh, printer ilikuwa lakini mm-hmm. si kazi mingi vile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the following day ndo nipata hizo program za mazishi ndio mm-hmm. nipata 1300. Mm-hmm. Na kwa hakika sikuwa najua kutengeneza vile. 
ilibidi ni ni pay rafiki yangu ule mmoja aweze kunitengenezea kwanza mm-hmm. ndio nialete ni ndio niweze kuzi, kuzitoa mm-hmm. yeah. na kutoka hapo biashara kutoka hapo biashara ikaanza kuchukua ikachukua ikapik vizuri na ni lini uliamua sasa i have to expand this business to something else uh, mwezi wa tisa ndio nika chini nikaona kwa hakika mm-hmm. mambo yanabadilika mm-hmm. maana ile ile nyumba ilianza kuingia wapangaji pale mm-hmm. kaanza kujaa kaanza kujaa mm-hmm. kasema kwa hakika ule rafiki yangu akaniuliza kwamba eh, David ulisema hapo utakaa na uame kuna nyumba niliona mahali mm-hmm. na ni mzuri. Mm-hmm. Nikamwambia kwa hakika mimi siami hapa. Mm-hmm. Niko hapa nikae. Mm-hmm. Eh. Nilianza hapa peke yangu. Nilianza hapa Wengine wamekuja lakini mimi eh. niko hapa kudumu. Na kwa hakika nikiwa pale mm-hmm. walikuwa wanakuja marafiki, ndugu jamaa akaambia hapa sioni kama utaendelea. Mm-hmm. Eh, kwa hakika kuna mmoja aliweza kuniambia hapa umalizi miezi tano. Mm-hmm. Na nikamwambia kwanza miezi tano ndamaliza miaka tano miaka 55 na, na tano ndazimalizia hapa. Mm-hmm. Eh. Kwa hakika miezi tano lilisha nikigoja mimi nifunge ni mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Lakini Mungu aliendelea kuniinua mm-hmm. ma, katika ile mali. Saa mwezi wa tisa ndio nikaa chini kwa na biashara inaendelea nzuri. Mm-hmm. Naweza tafuta mfanyikazi mwingine mm-hmm. tuweze kuendelea na hii biashara. Mm-hmm. Ndio nikatafuta mfanyikazi mmoja mm-hmm. tukaendelea pale. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwa hakika mimi nilikaa chini nikaandika nikasema ikifika mwezi wa Januari mm-hmm. hii biashara ndakuwa nimeendeleza hivi. Mm-hmm. Kukaka ndio nilienda nikanunua computer computer ika grow ikakuwa mm-hmm. eh, cyber mali ya ku browse pale. Mm-hmm. Ukaifanya sasa cyber kutoka ka photocopy shop sasa ikaenda cyber. Cyber ya watu kama wangapi? Ilikuwa watu wengi. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwa kanyumba kadogo bado. Mm-hmm. Ndio cyber ndio photocopy mm-hmm. pale. Mm-hmm. Anika ka, ka nikaona uh, wacha nitafute chumba kingine mahali hapa. Mm-hmm. Ndio nikatafuta kingine hapo mbele nikaweka cyber na nikaacha photocopy hizo. Mm-hmm. Eh, juu size tuko wawili. Wakati umesema kwamba ulikuwa una kiti chini unaandika. Kwa nini ulikuwa unaandika na unaweza tu fikiria na ukafanya? Eh, kwa hakika Biblia inatuambia mm-hmm. tunajua kutengeneza lakini Mungu ni anafanyisha. Mm-hmm la nilikuwa naandika ndio nipeleke mbele ya Mungu ni mwambie hiki ndio nimeandika oh. na ndio nataka. Oh. Uweze enda mbele ya Mungu bila kitu kuanze kufikiria pale. Ah, hiyo ni new secret. Kwa hivyo wewe ulikuwa unaandika chini ndio upate ku present before God. Eh, chenye wataka. Mm-hmm. Na kitu vyote ulivyoandika na ukapresent vile makonda na zikuwa zinafanyika. Mm-hmm. Hata wa leo. Mm-hmm. Naandikanga zafanyika. You are, you write kisha yeah. una present, na present kwa That's a very new secret hata mimi nimejua baada ya ku move kwa chumba cha pili uli move mpaka wapi eh, katika chumba cha pili mm-hmm. eh, ndipo niliamua kurudi katika chuo kikuu nisome mm-hmm. na nikabidi nitafute mfanyikazi mwingine wa pili sasa mm-hmm. wewe waachie nikawaachia nikarudi Nairobi mm-hmm. nikaenda kusoma sasa mm-hmm. kufanya degree yangu mm-hmm. eh wakati ulienda kufanya degree biashara haikwenda mrama manake wafanyikazi wengi uwezi waamini na biashara kwa hakika nilikaa miezi tatu bila kwenda pale mm-hmm. lakini kwenda kusoma kuangalia rekodi zangu maana niliwaambia kitu chochote unachofanya lazima urekodi mm-hmm. uanike chini mm-hmm. hata kama umebai kitu ya shilingi tano mm-hmm. nioneshe risiti kwanza umeka risiti mm-hmm. so walikuwa naeka lakini biashara ilikuwa inaenda mara ndio nikaamua kwa hakika ukiangalia katika nilikuwa nafanya hapa Nairobi mm-hmm. eh, siku yenye sina darasa nilikuwa mm-hmm. natoka naenda kule mm-hmm. na kaa kule mm-hmm. bila kuambia kama naja mm-hmm. eh. na unawai, kwa unawaimsi kwa kama naja mm-hmm. naja saa tano, saa mbili, saa kumi, mm-hmm. ndio nione biashara venye linaenda mm-hmm. lakini nilipoona shida iko wapi niliwakalisha chini na nikawafunza mm-hmm. biashara nikamwambia hii biashara kama siko chukulia kama lako mm-hmm. maana mimi si, sitaki kuandika mi, mi, more than two years mm-hmm. yeah. na hata wale usiandika ngi wafanyikazi more than two years kwa nini uh, eh, kwa maana kama mimi mwenyewe sitaki kuajiliwa nataka kuonesha pia mnaweza jianjiri mm-hmm. na nawasaidia na kila chochote waanze biashara zao kwa hivyo wewe ukiajiri mtu unahakikisha kuwa umemkuza asonge mbele eh, kama ana, 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 ana mtazamo wa kusonga eh. ha, so far wenye umementa wakasonga mbele ni kama wanga eh, ni i've mentored a lot mm-hmm. eh, but i have over 20 mm-hmm. who i can say mm-hmm. actually hawa niliwasaidia mm-hmm. Nikiwa pale katika biashara yangu nikiwa shule mm-hmm. nikifanya diploma yangu nikifanya degree yangu mm-hmm. wenye tulio 
uhusiana katika biashara wameendelea mbali. Mm-hmm. Eh. Ni lini ulianzisha Pavel College? Ah, uh, Pavel College ilianza 2015 mm-hmm. mwezi wa tisa pia. Mm-hmm. Ukiangalia vitu zangu zilikuwa nga ni mwaka. Mm-hmm. Na sana sana mwezi wa tisa is a lucky year for me. Mm-hmm. It's like lucky month for me mm-hmm. always. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mali pale mm-hmm. nili nili nilikaa chini nikasema wacha nianzishe shule nifunze watu mm-hmm. hii knowledge niliona baada ya kwa degree yako Haba bado niko na degree mm-hmm. nilimaliza la mwaka jana mm-hmm. pale eh, nikiwa pale ndio nilisema ndaanzisha nikaandika sasa mwezi wa ilikuwa mwezi wa tatu, mm-hmm. 2015 mm-hmm. kasema mwezi wa tisa, mm-hmm. ndaanza hii shule mm-hmm. lakini hapa katikati ndaanza kampani lingine mm-hmm. eh ile ile inayoitwa Palm Consultancy Services mm-hmm. ya kufanya mambo ya consulting consulting mm-hmm. kuusaidia watu kurejesta biashara zao mm-hmm. kufanya mambo ya KRA mm-hmm. vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. na vile mtu ata manage mm-hmm. pesa zake mm-hmm. akitaka kuinvest kwa biashara mm-hmm. mali pale zote niliandika mwezi wa tisa. Mm-hmm. ndio maana mwezi wa sita ilifika na na kwa kika tuwezi pangia Mungu Mm-hmm. Akani Mungu akaniambia hii Palm Consultancy lazima ianze. Mm-hmm. Unajua ukiangalia mwezi wa sita ndio maana ndio mali wafanyikazi wengi wa, wa serikali wanarudisha mm-hmm. returns zao. Mm-hmm. Pale nikaamua acha nianze ile kampani. Mm-hmm. Nikaanza Palm Consultancy. Mm-hmm. Pale ni mi director, pale ni mi secretary, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. So wa, watu wakikuja wananipata pale reception. Mm-hmm. Naambia sawa, boss yako ndani, wacha amalize ndio muhudumiwe. Na naokota na okota vitu zao naenda nazo ndani. Mm-hmm. Na nikiingia pale ndani nawaambia next. Anaingia. Anaingia anaangalia hivi anasema ah ni wewe? Mm-hmm. Kaambia eh. So watu wengi wako anani believe nikawaambia mm-hmm. eh kwa kika tunaanza size hatuwezi anza na wafanyakazi wote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lakini, Lakini venye niliona wa, m- m- clients wetu wa, wanashaka na sisi ndio ilibidi nitafute mfanyakazi mwingine. Mm-hmm. Akae pale reception au ndio wako ndio anipate. Na inaendelea namna gani? Uh, inaendelea mzuri. Mm-hmm. Eh, kwa hakika tulitoka pale ikabidi tuje Nairobi maana mm-hmm. ndio biashara hiyo iko mingi. Mm-hmm. Lakini tunao branch kule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mko na branch Chitala na, na, na kuna Nairobi. So far biashara zako how old are they? Sitaki unaambia exact but tunaweza estimate. <laughs> uh, so far uh, mwaka jana mm-hmm. tulipofanya the auditor uh, mwenye anatufanyia anga the ni tano auditor mm-hmm. uh, alisema kwamba we are worthy 1.2 1.2 yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. of which i don't value that mm-hmm. i value the knowledge mm-hmm. which we give people mm-hmm. and the service we give people mm-hmm. because i know it's worthy mm-hmm. more millions where do you see yourself in five years to come five years i'll be at 28 mm mm-hmm. uh, I'll be having two uh, seven years to retire from the business. How? I want to retire at the age of 35 because I know I'll be uh, I've achieved everything in Kenya Nataka. Mm-hmm. At the age of the uh, at 35. Na nikae chini niachie walio nyuma yangu waweze kuendelea na This is just funny. 35 years you want to have retired not 50 like anyone else. No. Kwa nini 35? Uh, because i believe whatever people are doing at the age of 40 mm-hmm. i'm doing it right now mm-hmm. yeah katikati ya ya 35 of 5 years what do you want to do are uh, there uh, for the 5 years i want to do greater things mm-hmm. uh, i need nataka ikuwe company kubwa mm-hmm. ikuwe shule kubwa mm-hmm. mali pale mm-hmm. tuweze kusaidia lakini ikiwa shule sitaki zile shule kama hizi zingine mm-hmm. nataka kusaidia watu pale mashinani mm-hmm. waweze kuneta their talent. Mm-hmm. Sitaki this the education system ya Kenya unaenda pale shule unasoma kitu na ikusaidi. Mm-hmm. Tao kusaidia kama ni mambo ya teknolojia wajue wanze biashara zao. Kama mambo ya beauty mm-hmm. ya kushona hizo vitu zote ni wasaidie ili waendeleze biashara. Mm-hmm. Na kwa kika katika hizo miezi hiyo miaka tano I believe I will have achieved that. What keeps you going despite of the challenges you face each and every day? What keeps me going? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you draw your strength from? I draw my strength from God mm-hmm. and from the mentors I have. Mm-hmm. They really encourage me. Who is your mentor? My mentor oh. is 
uh, Job Nyomo Solomon, mm -hmm. one of the prominent business around Machakos, mm -hmm. and a great friend of me. Mm -hmm. He's older than me, but he, he calls me brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he has mentored you he as has a mentored brother. He has mentored me as a brother, mm -hmm. not as any person. There is somebody watching you today. Maybe they have a dream, they have goals, and they can't even uh, achieve them due to some circumstances. Your encouragement today. Uh, what I can tell people is this. Our dreams are still valid. No matter what you do, do it with passion. Uh, there is a growth. You cannot start your business, you cannot start your goal every time. Sit down, write your goal down somewhere. Then find the resources which might help you. Start low and start now. Because you cannot accumulate like 80,000, 100,000 for, for you to start a business. Start with 50. I believe I started with 50 shillings, which I was earning, at the end which was negative 10. But because of the passion, I made it. The other thing, you should have passion of whatever you are doing. I tell people, at the, the position you are, do it great. Do it like nobody else is doing the same, same thing. Through that, you'll be doing good. The other thing is that, do, some, do good to people, because you cannot climb the ladder alone. Lazima usaidiana na watu. You cannot make in business alone. You must have workers, you must have uh, clients. Do good to them. Stay calm. Then know yourself. Learn to say thank you. Uh, myself, at a, when somebody offends me, I tell that person thank you. Why? Because these people are the people who will help you grow your business. Thank you so much for finding time to share your inspirational story. May God help you achieve whatever you've remained to achieve. Thank you. Thank you so much for choosing Deliverance TV. This has been my story. I'm really inspired today. And I know whatever you want to achieve, you can as well do it. Remember each and every day that your dreams are valid only when God is ahead of you. Until next time, may God bless you.